Hey, we're back in the eBay room. I'm gonna pull some orders. We got seven items going out for $109.50. So we will get pulling them. Just a little bit ago, I had kind of an annoying message come through. I'll tell you about it in a second. God, go figure, I went to the wrong side. 2144. DVD. We got Skyline. I don't actually know if I've ever seen that. It's familiar. Sounds familiar, but I don't think I've seen it. Uh, and that sold for a whole three bucks. Twenty nine seventeen. We got Amadeus, a director's cut, two disc special edition. Three dollars and fifty nine cents on that one. So yeah, let me pull up the message here real quick. I kind of know the gist of it, but well, okay. So first, I see an order come through for or uh, an offer come through for a postcard um, for two bucks, and I have it on sale for like two fifty four or whatever. So I accepted it, and another one came through for two bucks, and I accepted it. Same per same person. And then I had to do something. So I came back a few minutes later and there were two more offers on two other ones. There were also two and a half dollars on sale. Um, and he offered, he sent a dollar 75 offers on those. So like, well, just cause I'm accepting $2 offers. Now you're going to go lower. So I countered and sent back $2 10 cent offers on those just because I don't know. I didn't want to play the game, I guess. So then he sends me a message. He says, how come you can't accept $1.75 and I'm getting several? It's not like I'm opting for only one postcard. Well, so my response, uh, they're already 15% off. You're asking an additional 21% off when you offer $2. So his $1.75 offers were even more. And I'm already only going to make change for profit. I'll accept the $2 offer on the two I countered on if you want to counter back at $2. Thank you. So, I don't know. I just wasn't really having it. Like, if I miss out on a $2 postcard sale, big whoop. I mean, I'm not going to stay. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. It was just kind of annoying. Like what? Also, that makes four postcards. So they're free shipping. That makes four postcards. You're technically only allowed to send three postcards, eBay standard envelope. So right now he only has three that are waiting payment. So we'll see if he send, see if he gets the fourth one or not. But um, once it gets that fourth postcard, I'm supposed to send it first class. So it would end up being eight dollars free shipping first class postage which of course I do on well I don't do that on CDs but they're pretty close medium mail and four ounce first class is pretty close um so I mean I could do it obviously but I'd lose a lot compared to the 70 cents it would cost to ship out three of them and I'm not totally sure if I would send them out first class if he got four or if I'd just take the risk and try and send four out and hope they don't check it. I don't know. It's not that often that people buy that many postcards. So I guess it'd be uh, interesting to try. The only sucky part, if they caught it, would be if they charged um, priority rate instead of first class. Because then I would definitely not make any money. Pure Prairie League, all in good time. Uh, so for, oh wow, 36 bucks. I don't know who that is. Pure Prairie League. Okay. Oh, I guess that's kind of a bolo though for your CDs. 32.54. Oh man, is this gonna be inside? Oh no, good. I have a few that I've listed that have actually started going live and they're still inside. Luckily I haven't come across that problem yet. Barry Manilow, One Voice, um, that was $7. 
See, a little irritating on that message, but I don't know, whatever. I'm over it. Just figured I'd tell you guys about it. 305. Oh, go figure. It never fails. It's in. Okay, it does fail sometimes because I don't actually have to do this too often, but it feels like I have to do it more often than. Then I should have to. 305. What I need to do is just get this shoe rack out of here. But, you know, my list of need to do things just keeps growing and it's weird, but my time to do those things uh, doesn't ever get, I don't ever get more time. So, priorities. The shoe rack's not a priority. Uh, that shirt is a carbon right there. Uh, gray and teal or light blue or light green, whatever. Um, $9 plus shipping on that one. $30.66. The office inside was getting kind of a mess with all this new stuff we're buying and I wanted to rearrange it. Uh, $30.66. So I did spend a little time doing that because it was actually getting kind of too full for me to really be able to list well in there. So I took some time to do that today because we went to an auction so I didn't really have time. Everything but the girl play baby what in the world? Everything but the girl. Baby the stars shine bright. Everything but the girl, baby. I don't know. The front's really hard to read. I don't understand that. It doesn't matter. Um three and a half dollars for that one. If you can read it, then I guess you're better than me. But it doesn't say the same thing on the side as it says on the front. Oh, I can read the side. B12. What was I just talking about? Oh yeah, I reorganized the uh, the office in there. Because I didn't have time to get into listing. Because I don't really like sitting down for only a couple minutes to tr get involved in something that I'm not going to be able to continue. I might have to put the camera down for this one. Um, oh, they're back here. So by the time I got home from the auction, there wasn't much time, and I decided to do some rearranging in the office instead. And then after an R and Gideon went to bed, I finished it. Okay, it's one of these two unicorns. I don't know if it's the glittery one or the not glittery one. Let's see. Hmm. It looks like the glittery one. Let me zoom in on that thing. Yeah, it's this glittery one here. And they did all work. Let's see. Mm hmm. The torn lights up. I don't know. I don't know exactly what all they're supposed to do other than that, but. I guess you stick your fingers on. They're called fingerlings, so I guess you stick them on your finger. And they, they hug your finger or your pencils or whatever you stick in there. Yeah. Things that make those kind of noises are kind of annoying, though. We try not to get an R of those. Um, but that sold for $8.50 plus shipping. And that's going to finish it off. Oh, we had... Um this this radio cell on the last episode or uh or the last video or the one before i don't know one of the weekend videos that sold and i went i opened it because we didn't list it with the box so i just why well, ship the box i can ship it in a smaller box um so i took it out and looked at it and there was on the screen there was more black spots on the screen than there were before but it was sold untested like for parts whatever anyway but I messaged the person and let them know, sent them a picture of it. And they decided they wanted it anyway. So that worked out great because that was like a $40 order. 
and yeah I shipped that out this morning um, we got some uh, what did we get we got some stuff at the auction today so that's cool we're gonna do a haul video I thought about doing all kind of a haul video today um, but it's late because I was doing the other stuff ran out of time so I haven't comped everything super well so it'd be kind of boring boring haul video I guess and I'll try and look some stuff up and do it tomorrow because Sam should be here for the video and I figure she probably wouldn't mind being in it for our haul video since she was at the auctions um, this weekend with me so that'll probably be in the next video oh I missed Monday's upload yeah because of the auction today I didn't have time to do it and the weekend was busy so we'll probably just run them through uh, I don't normally do one on Sunday unless I'm gonna do a sourcing video but I don't have one this week so maybe I'll just push them all do straight through Sunday and then start them start them again with the weekend videos next Monday again and be back on track <sighs> okay we made our goal for the day 100 bucks and we'll see you next time thanks